Okay, so let's graph the equation y equals 3x minus 7. And we're going to do that using a table of values. So we'll put a value in for x here, do the math, and we'll get a value for y, and we can graph that point. I like to start out with 0 for x. Let's just put a 0. 3 times 0, that's just 0. Then we'd have negative 7 for y. How about 1? 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 7, that's negative 4. And how about 2? 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 7, that's negative 1. So these are the points that we'll graph for this linear equation here. y equals 3x minus 7. So we have x is 0 and y is negative 7. So we go to 0 for x and down negative 7 for y. Then we have x is 1, y is negative 4. Over 1, down to negative 4. We could stop at two points, but if we made an error, it's nice to have three. So let's do two for x and y is negative one. And you can see they line up there. Let's put a line through those. Then we can put arrows to show this goes to infinity. That's the graph for y equals three x minus seven. We could put any values in for x, get the resulting y value. And then when we graph that, it's gonna be on this line. Again, I just chose these because, well, it fits on the graph paper fairly nicely. You could also use slope-intercept formula to graph y equals 3x minus 7. There's a link at the end of this video to help you with that. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation y equals 3x minus 7. Thanks for watching.